Okay, so it's a Friday night, which for me means it's takeaway night. Now, as you can see, I've got groceries though. I so, so, so very rarely shop on a Friday because, well, I'm lazy and Friday is traditionally my day off. But tonight I had a really, really huge hankering for Chinese food. The problem with Chinese food is that I want like five, six dishes. So I've gone and placed a takeaway order in at my local Chinese place. But because I'm cheap, I refuse to pay like 23, 24 dollars for vegetables. So I had to go and buy my own vegetables. And while I was there, you know, Aldi closes at eight for me. I just rushed through and picked up the things that were on special. So. Green beans were on special, 500 grams for $3.49. So I'm gonna have green beans with some um, garlic, just stir fried. Strawberries, these ones, I've gotta eat them probably tonight or tomorrow breakfast, um, 199 because I think they've pretty much got a day or two before they just go really bad. Three bananas as usual, $2.08. I buy these with every single shop, $2.99, that's on special. Yogurt, four mini yogurts for $3.49. Two liters of A2 milk, $6.89. That I don't really need milk at the moment, but Aldi doesn't always have this and I'm unwilling to walk to Coles to go get my milk. So I still have oh, probably a litre left in the fridge, but you know, that's got a long expiry date. And a brie cheese for $2.79, which I'm gonna have with wine. Next up, spring rolls. I got these from Coles um, the other night. I'll put the price on, but these are half price. I really like this brand, not the Coles brand, because these ones taste pretty much exactly like the ones you get at a Chinese restaurant. Then I went to the Asian supermarket. I had a bit of a whoopsies when I got home. Uh, my edamame, my frozen soybeans, I pierced the bag, so. They're into a Ziploc bag and they'll go into the freezer. And finally, these are Taiwanese pork sausages. Um, they're really, really great. I love these. I can throw them in the air fryer or the oven. Easier in the air fryer. Um, they've just got like a garlicky taste. Slightly, slightly. Um, I prefer this brand because it's not as fatty, not as oily. It's supposed to be a kind of fatty indulgence, but I like to have these with rice. So I will put my total on the screen for everything now. Okay, so I've just grabbed a handful of my green beans. The rest are going into a Ziploc freezer bag, squeezed all the air out. That'll go back into the, into the fridge. Uh, I will wash and deal with these, probably halve them and fry them up with some minced garlic. The jar stuff is fine. Additionally, from way back when, I have one more um, mushroom left, king oyster mushroom from <laughs> a while back. They look a bit dodgy, but I'm going to eat them anyway. Fingers crossed that I don't become Australia's second mushroom-related disaster this month. I'll speed you up. Most of my things put together, I have some leftover pork. What's a really traditional Chinese uh, dish? 
beans with pork. Now it's supposed to be minced pork, so I'm just gonna chop this up very roughly and add it to my green beans. Okay, now I have everything in place, I will walk you through what I'm having for dinner. So as always, I make my own rice. It's ridiculous to buy rice. Which reminds me, I saw five kilos on special half price at Coles for I think $9.50. So I'm going to go get myself another five kilos. So rice, I made my green beans with my dodgy mushroom and the shredded leftover pork. These are tea eggs. Basically, they're hard-boiled eggs, but you infuse them with tea. So um, these ones, you know, are very, very, very common in Taiwan. You can literally walk into a convenience store, like a 7-Eleven, and get these hot. I love these. <laughs> but, you know, they are a bit of a pain to make, so I make a couple at a time. And what I picked up from my Chinese restaurant is... Uh, salt and pepper pork ribs. I have a rule at home, I never deep fry. I shallow fry and that's as much as you know I'll do because you end up wasting so much oil. So I've got salt and pepper pork and these are really a snack food but <laughs> I like them for dinner anyway. These are called sen jian bao which is pan fried pork buns. So they're really, really juicy inside. This is my Friday night, again, hybrid takeaway. Uh, I plan on eating this for the next two, three meals uh, after this. Um, I still have obviously enough rice to get me through the rest of the weekend and uh, I will cook my vegetables as necessary. So as always, I will put my costings up above. <laughs>